will be doing the electrolysis of copper sulfate. So let's start by dissolving the copper sulfate in water. So here I have some crystals I have previously recrystallized. All the copper sulfate has dissolved, so that's, now let's pour it into this test tube. So here I have my test tube and I have my negative electrode submerged and if everything goes correctly we should have oxygen in this test tube. So now let's submerge the other electrode on which um, I hope to grow some copper. And now let's close the circuit. There. The electrolysis should begin. Yeah. Close the circuit, and on one electrode, the copper is dissolving, and on the other electrode, the copper is precipitating to form an interesting looking shape. Our setup ready and we decided to have two dissimilar electrodes. One is an iron nail, the other is a piece of copper wire. The iron nail will be connected to the plus, the copper wire will be connected to the minus. So let's connect them. So this gas is supposed to be oxygen and as you see the copper wire is slowly having precipitate and that is supposed to be copper. And as you see, we're producing oxygen fairly quickly. And also something is happening to the nail. It turned black for some reason or some other color.
Yeah. And the noodle stuff is actually quite warm, so I don't know why, but it's heating up. So we, let's take the other one out and we'll see what happened to that nail. So, wow, so this is copper as well, so let's wipe this off, so that's quite a lot of copper. We have the <laughs> convection on top of the negative electrode, which means that it, it is heating up, and we have convection below the positive electrode. The nail is partially dissolved at the bottom where the contact used to be, and uh, that's why our reaction was slowing down. And uh, the nail slid down. <laughs> a bit and uh, now we, since we have a better contact the reaction sped up and uh, oxygen uh, is produced much quicker Okay, so we stopped the reaction because the nail dropped off from the uh, wire. So we have an almost a full tube of gas, which is supposed to be oxygen. Then we have gathered quite a lot of copper. And, and finally... And finally we cleaned off the nail. And here's what happened. So... As you see, it has partially dissolved in some places, making quite an interesting shape. Clean the nail, put it back onto the copper wire, and now I'll close the circuit again.
It looks as if we have an oscillating reaction. We have lots of bubbles, then the nail is covered with something black, then the acid eats away part of the nail, probably, and then the bubbles clean away the black thing, and then So there, right now the nail is covered with something, now the acid is partially dissolving the nail and now the bubbles will strip away the In this test tube. And since oxygen is heavier than air, we can keep the test tube open. So, so if this is oxygen, then if I were to light this uh, piece of wood I have here, then it should light up. So, yes, it was oxygen in there. Big and probably a bit of hydrogen and So yes, that was oxygen.